Hi, this is Andrew Gelina, host of Underserved, the podcast for the rest of the tech industry. We've had a recurring theme come up in talking to folks in the technology industry, and that's the ownership of chickens. That's right, chickens. You wouldn't think that so many programmers and project managers and scrum masters and folks would own them, and yet they do. Matt Berg talked about owning chickens in episode two of Underserved. Since we released that episode, we've heard from many other technologists about how they're using technology to help keep chickens. Matt's here to tell you more about it. I was talking to a technology manager. He was interested in automating his chicken keeping. Living in New England, we have to worry about weather, water, predators, and food. My first experience was having to heat the water to keep it from freezing. My colleague went a step further. He used a Raspberry Pi to automate the opening and closing of the chicken door. It locks at night to keep predators, wind, and snow out. He also took it a step further and used a trigger to turn a heat lamp on when it would get below 32 degrees so the water wouldn't freeze. Something that people don't know is chickens, they are used to being out of their coop. They will stick around your property and will go in and out uh, when the sun comes up and goes down. So automating that door and keeping it closed at night uh, is one of the main things you have to worry about when you're keeping chickens. A lot of times owners forget and that's how predators get in. That's how uh, weather gets in and it becomes challenging for the chickens to keep up. You always have to count on the sun. That's how they regulate how many eggs they do. During the summer months, you can get almost up to two eggs a day with some chickens. In the winter months, you'd be lucky if it's one a week. So if you want to increase your egg production, you can trick them with a heat lamp. For predators, during the day, it's your, your hawks, some other birds of prey, and uh, local dogs at night, Fox, weasel, fisher cat, coyote, anything else that's out looking for a meal at night. If I had to make a wish list of things I would like in my chicken coop that involve technology, a motion sensor light would be great. A trail cam or motion sensor camera to see what activity is. So you might be able to plan if something's been sneaking around for a couple nights. Some other technology would be a pressure sensor for when their food was out or when they laid an egg. In the winter months, the eggs can freeze very quickly uh, once they lay and then they become, you have to throw them away. One of the main reasons I've kept the chickens is because my kids love them. They're always talking about what are the chickens doing? The bok box. They love to go out and check for eggs. The dog also loves to kind of herd them in. It's his, in his natural instinct. You'd think he'd chase the chickens, but he doesn't. He likes to play. Sometimes that's too much for them, but it keeps them entertained. Having the chickens out in your yard is fun. The neighbors come by, they have kids, they like to feed them. It's like their own petting zoo in their neighborhood. If you wanna hear more about chicken keeping, you can check out my episode, episode two, in the link in the description below. You can also follow us on Instagram at underserved podcast. So if you've got any chicken stories, please let us know about them. You could email us at underserved at syrinx.com. That's underserved at S-Y-R-I-N-X.com. It'll be down in the description. Also in the description will be the link to the underserved podcast where you can listen to episode two and also subscribe and get all of our episodes. So don't chicken out. Be sure to subscribe to underserved at underserved.libsyn.com. Again, that's underserved.libsyn.com where you can hear episode two and all the other episodes of Underserved. We'll see you again soon.